Am I at a right good angle? So remember a mm -hmm. cedar. It's gonna chip out. So you wanna go with the grain. Is that a hydraulic? Yeah. One? It should. I should be able to turn up my hands like that. I... Yeah. It's kind of what I do with the draw knife, and as you can see, what I've done is I've carved to the line that I drew on the top to the, to the side pocket there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to gouge this out and kind of create like a 90 degree angle there. I'm going to go to some gouges here. These are Marv Meyer. Yeah. Marv was a member here for a long time. I don't know if you ever got the chance to meet him. Just going to smaller gouge now. More refined. That's kind of where I get it to, pretty rough.
what I would do is carve both sides like that, and then that way you look at it from the from the front and the back and the top to make sure you got it all the same or symmetrical, um, same width, and everything like that. But I'm going to save some time and go to the next step. So just say that I got both sides done like this. Okay. <clears throat> Any questions so far? So now uh, I'm going to kind of round things off. So basically now what I've established here is the separation between the tertial scapulars and the side pocket. So I'm just going to do some rounding. Use a, use a draw knife for a gouge. How do you sharpen your draw knife? Uh, I got a little leather strap on a wheel at home. Mm -hmm. I've walked with mine for years. Yeah. This is hard. <laughs> yeah. Picture here, am I? <laughs> so you just perfect now. You just carved to the high, the high point on the shoulder that time? Pardon? You just carved to the high point on the shoulder? Yeah, so a lot of times, yeah, good point. So a lot of times all I'll do is draw a line in here somewhere, in here. That's kind of my high, high point. Does that make sense? Body armor when they're doing that? Body yeah. <laughs> Come back next month, everyone's got bandages and bleeding out of chest. It's good stitches in your gut. Yeah. Lock your elbow. If you lock your elbow, you won't stab yourself. <coughs> I get fair all the time, too. I get that, too, because I'm sitting in a game where I don't have this. I'm sitting there with my thing holding on one end and gouging yeah. at myself with the other. And, <laughs> Every day, so I was like, how many times do you cut yourself? I just tell him this is my eighth shirt today. Right. That's why they make those heavy leather aprons. Yeah. Yeah, if this thing was working right, it, and I'm trying to carve for the camera a little bit, but I feel that. Branch out of more.
you're talking. <laughs> Uh, just keep uh, rounding down the top of the bird now. Kind of got the side pocket roughed out. What uh, size gown is that? Is that, a, is that Probably about an inch, I would say. What about the scoop on that? The... No idea. <laughs> Mark market for me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever angle came off his belt. That's right, yeah. How often you stopped there? Uh I would I know when it's not cutting. Then I would guess it's probably every bird. Maybe it's don't drop it. Right. I would guess it's probably after every bird. With white cedar, these things work yeah, really nice. The Tupelo, they work very nice, but not as nice as this. generally do is come in and draw. Okay, this is a hunting decoy. I don't want to take too much off the bottom, but I come in maybe. Oh, I suppose quarter inch or less. Just rounding it a little bit. Green. Seems to do pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> so that I'll just uh, either take a knife or Uh, laying in the <coughs> back of the side bucket here.
pretty much there with the side pocket. Looks pretty rough up there. <laughs> A little smoother, please. Yeah. That's what sandpaper's for. So, so now I want to draw that tail in. I'm going to take this paper here. measure from the bottom of the mm -hmm. tail there to the bottom of the decoy. Answer that mark. I think you got to go in the menu. Yeah. When I got more time, I'll work on that. I've hit all the buttons on here, and none of them seem to do anything. It's working it's right now. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I figured. Gonna kind of round this area up here. Mm -hmm. 
<coughs> green wing tail's a little blockier back in this area, but I'm going to paint all that detail on. So it's going to be a little more blocky appearance, or appeared. It'll have a blocky feel to it back here the way I have it, but once you draw all the feather groups on there. Are you just, are you going to paint on the primaries then, or are you going yeah. to start you to highlight those at all, or yeah, relieve them? Yeah, just going to paint those on. All right, okay. We can throw in the, the cape here. Kind of drew the cape on. Do a little center line. Kind of the body carving as a whole. Pretty much roughed out now. Kind of get that head and neck blended in here. So um, so I use kind of a knife a lot of times for that because it works on the end grain pretty good. Up 
hollow this out a little bit. side here, the side pocket. That's pretty much what there is to carve in the body roughly quick. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty sweet. That was pretty good right there. So, sandpaper next? Sandpaper, probably a little more refining little with the head and the neck. I, glue the, I usually glue the head on and then finish up <coughs> uh, bringing the neck and the body together. Do you do any feather carving then, or are you just you going to do that with paint? A lot of painting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's yeah. definitely yeah. a smoothie, yeah? A smoothie. <laughs> Traditional hunting decoy. So you cross the, the On this, and I'll probably keep them down like so. If you wanted to carve them in, you could. But you know, they, they look like in Kind of got. probably see it better if you come up and look, but you really see that you can make it look pretty decent with the paint. I think I'll just pass it around or you can come up and look at it if you want. Any questions? Or? Oh, nice job. Thank you. Yeah, this, uh, I'll figure out how to get rid of all this crap on the screen. And there's also a white balance adjustment on this, so I can, uh, it's looking a little dull, but I think we can make it look brighter for the available light that we've got. So, uh, could everybody see that okay from every angle? And, I move we go ahead and buy it. Second. 
Okay. Uh, it is recording as far as I know, so we'll, uh, well try to play it back and just make sure, but I think that... Uh, what I would suggest is that 